Hello and welcome. In our previous videos, we had seen how to create the responses component, parameters components and schemas component and reduce the redundancy while defining or creating API definition. In this video, we are going to learn how to create multiple media types which could be accepted in the request or could be sent back in a response from an API. In order to do that, it's very simple. Let's go to this post. In the request, we will create one more media type that is application XML. So under the schema, I'm copying this same thing. So this is one of the use case of components. So we don't have to repeat the schema definition again and again. Okay, so that we can have a schema once and we can refer it in a multiple places. So if you click on this now, we will see the drop down for XML. If you select this, so it will show the XML variant for the request. Also, we can have this for the response as well. What we'll do is we'll copy this. Paste it over here. We'll replace this XML with the JSON. I rest everything is same. Now, if you scroll down, you will see the option for XML in the responses. If you select this, now it's throwing the error. Uh, let's resolve this. We'll create a response like how we have over here. I'm copying this from here. I'm going to here and writing this as 200. Success create this is return after successfully creating products so i'll copy this entire thing and paste it over here let me intend this let me create for xml as well Now I will remove everything over here and just use the reference that is 200 success created. Again it is showing as root element name undefined. In order to resolve this what we have to do is we have to create a schema under components refer it to from there. I will create a schema for that success success. response okay so i will copy this from here cut and paste it over here let me intend this properly yeah now what we'll do is we'll refer that from here it is the success response we'll copy this and paste it over here so what we have done is we have created the schema component and referred it under the responses component and responses component we are referring from here that is 200 success created response now if we see over here nothing uh, has broken uh, it is intact now if, if you click on this and select this xml now it is showing the xml response it is not showing that earlier message like undefined so like this we can make use of these components that is with the help of schemas, responses, parameters and create API definition without the redundancy. Following this approach, we can have a multiple media types application, JSON, XML, even if you are looking for any other thing like the application, multi-part form data or binary, anything else. So you can define it over here and create the definition as per the OAS. For more details, you can uh, anytime come over to GitHub repository and check this documentation as I'm using this 3.0.0 open api specification so this was the last session on open api specification and thank you for joining us in this video